Hey gang, Tony here. It has been a weird week so far. It's Thursday. It's been a week of ups and downs, goods and bads. Like a little mini lifetime, all kind of condensed into a few days. It's very strange. As you know, I've been kind of prepping for my uh, first week back to work, which is, of course, teaching English classes. So that has been fun. No, it's not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> when it gets towards this time of year, I am always thinking about Halloween, even though it is still only August. Since I do start school, school, in my mind, just kind of like connects with autumn, and autumn, of course, is uh, Halloween season. So this is apropos. I have a couple of boxes here. I'm going to do separate videos for them, both from Retro Days. If you haven't checked out RetroDays.com yet, I suggest you do. I'll put the link below. It is spelled weird, so make sure you hit the link. Uh, I know a lot of you have checked it out. Uh, if you are going over to the site, make sure you're participating. Check out the forum, introduce yourselves. It's a really cool community there, and as the name would suggest, all about retro stuff. So I, of course, enjoy the site quite a bit, and I recently racked up some points by writing a few articles for their contest. And since I had some points, I decided to purchase, quote-unquote, a few things from their point store. One of the items, the one I'm opening in this particular video, there'll be the other video as well, is their Halloween goodie pack. It's the Halloween goodie pack from 2014. So this is last year's Halloween goodie pack. They will have a new one this year for 2015. And it has been confirmed, unless I screw it up somehow, that I will be making something for that goodie pack. And when I say making something, obviously, I mean in the way that I make things for my Store Envy site. So if you like my Store Envy site, if you like the things I make there, I will have something exclusive to the Retro Days 2015 Halloween goodie pack. I'm currently in the works, kind of sketching out what it's going to be. And I'm not gonna. I'm not going to announce that. I'm going to probably let uh, Retro Days announce it since it'll be on their site. But I'll let you know once it happens. All right. So we have the goodie pack here. Let's check it out. Like the Christmas goodie pack, it's in this really cool box. I love these boxes. They're all shiny and glossy. There's the. Retro Days Halloween Goodie Pack. Boo. Hell yeah. I I really enjoy these. I do. Um, just to show you, here was the Christmas one I still have sitting right there. Alright, so here's the Halloween one. I believe this was only 150 points. Something like that. Or 100 points. It was pretty low in the pointage region. So take a look, real quick sneak peek at what we got in there. Now let's take a ganda a little closer. All right. So first up, we have. That's. Are you kidding me? Does this actually work? It. It looks like a flying eyeball. Um. Holy crap! If this thing really flies, there's. There is a switch on the bottom. I... I'm gonna turn it on? It looks like there's a... There's a couple of things here. I don't know. There might be... I'm gonna say this is a charger for this. That's why I'm pretty sure that it comes with a charger to charge the battery. So I don't know if this will be charged. Let's take a look. This is kind of... I'm excited about this. Um, you know what? I don't know if you're supposed to press it in. Ooh, the light went on anyway. I don't know. We might have to charge it. A light, the light did go on. Um, maybe is there a separate button for? La, la, la. I don't know. There might be instructions in there. I should probably. Okay, so that's definitely a switch that turns the light on. It's not flying though. So I will check that out and I'll let you know what happens. It might need to be charged. Or maybe it has to be plugged in while you're doing it. It's possible. So that's kind of amazing though. If that thing flies, that's kind of crazy. 
Alright, next up we have a little skull. Little plastic skull. And I love the little plastic skull. Hello, plastic skull. Oh, no, 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 no. I like plastic skulls. And next, I have something that... Spotted Halloween. This is a party game. Alright. So we have a party game for Halloween called Spot It in a little tin. There was a game for the Christmas uh, box as well, which is kind of cool. So it looks like a little card game sort of deal. Has the instructions there. Pretty neat. I look forward to playing that. Next up, we have... Whoops. Ooh, what is this? Family Special. First time on DVD. Ten bonus Halloween cartoons. Witch's Night Out, a fully animated cartoon starring Gilda Radner as the witch. Wow, I've never heard of this. This looks like it is going to be amazing. I can't wait to watch that. I have a ton of movies and, D and DVDs and TV specials and all kinds of things that I always watch leading into Halloween. So this is going to be part of that. I've got another DVD here. This is, ooh, Psycho. Nice. I do not own this. It's been a while since I saw it, too. I tend to watch Birds more often than Psycho for some reason. I like both a lot, though. Very cool. Wow, I'm dropping everything. Next, we have ooh, a little Halloween uh, Rubik's Cube. That's awesome. Look at that. Little Rubik's Cube. My thing with Rubik's Cubes, I suck at them. I'm probably just going to leave it like that so all the images remain intact, because otherwise it'll never... It'll never get back to its original setting. What do we got here? There is a little flashlight that's dead. Looks like a spaceship or something. That doesn't surprise me because this is a year old, but it opens so I could change the battery if I want. So I may do that. I may change the battery. I think I have some uh, batteries sitting around. I am taking out all this little stuff. It looks like stickers and things. We got a little cat. And we have a skeleton with a cauldron. And a moonsta. Hello, moonsta. How are you today? This is my moonsta. I don't know what kind of accent that is. That is not a good one, though. We got Frankenstein's moonsta. Little moonsta. Moonsta cheese. And we have a Dracula as well. Pretty sweet. These are all decals, I believe. They all look like it anyway. And we have a tiny pack of Spider-Man trading card treats. What? I can only imagine that this was something sold to be given away during uh, Halloween at, in the treat bag. It's from 1991. That's kind of amazing. I love little... I actually have some packs of things like that from like cereal boxes and whatnot. That's really cool. National Safe Kids something campaign. So this was to help keep kids safe at Halloween too, I guess. We have a trick-or-treat box, I think. Well, take a look. I'm assuming this opens into a box or something. Ah, there we go. It's a... I don't know. It's a sleeve of some kind. Maybe you put some stuff in it. I don't really know what that is. Okay, yeah, you uh, do that. And then... But it's open on both ends. So I don't know. Slip it onto your arm. And you are a trick-or-treat robot. I really just... I don't... Don't... Don't pay any attention to me. Shut the video right now. It's okay. And... Ah, wait a minute. This is probably the rest of the box, perhaps? I don't know. This, this also, it folds. And you do something with it. I'm folding it. I'm folding it. And I'm folding it some more. And I'm folding. I like to fold. Everybody likes folding puppets. There 
There we go. And that's a the bottom to something. I'm a master folder. Yes, I am. All right, so that is like that. I don't know. If that is supposed to go in there or something. That doesn't seem right. That that, that what that? I don't know. I don't know. What else do we got here? And this is rebound. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. These are the. Uh, these are the instructions for the flying eyeball. Self-flying eyeball. Look at that. So, it would appear, perhaps, that this has something to do with the... Because that kind of looks like it may... I don't know. I don't know. I am... That was it. That was everything in the box. That was kind of amazing. Uh, technically for free, like I said, in the point store. I am, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out this flying eyeball thing. And then in my next video unboxing from Retro Days, I'm going to make the eyeball fly for you. So make sure you tune in for that because you don't want to miss a flying eyeball. Nobody wants to miss a flying eyeball. It's a flying eyeball. Breathe deep in the night. I'll see you in a minute.